Hey everyone and welcome to another quick Moodle Rooms at Mount SAC tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to access Moodle Rooms for the first time. So first things first, how do you access Moodle Room? Well it's simple. All you have to do is visit the portal by going to inside.mountsac.edu and then logging in with your credentials. Keep in mind most web browsers are compatible but we recommend using either Chrome or Firefox. I'm using Firefox for this demonstration. Okay, now once you're logged into the portal, look for the learning, uh, the e-learning resources tab towards the top of the page and go ahead and click on it. And uh, once that's loaded, look towards the center of the page where it says Moodle Rooms Access and click on the button that says Sign In to Mount SAC Moodle Rooms. A new tab will open up and you should be automatically logged into the Moodle Rooms homepage. And that's it, you're in Moodle Rooms. You will then be able to see your courses, which will be listed either on the right where it says My Courses, or you can also find them on the left under Navigation and then clicking on My Courses. Um, if you're having trouble seeing or accessing any of your courses, contact your professor immediately. Also, once you're logged in, you will also have the ability to change several different account preferences, such as your profile information, your preferred language, and even notification settings. To do so, click on your profile picture on the top right here, and then click on Preferences. To customize your notification settings, click on Messaging under User Account. Uh, once there, you will, you will see a matrix with several different checklists that will allow you to personalize how you receive notifications from various different course events. If you run into trouble and need help with Moodle Rooms, you can click on Resources up top and then click on Support. I will also post additional help resources in the description of this video. Now be aware that if you don't see the description of this video, you may need to click on the YouTube icon first. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.